what would a building be like from someone who the issue isn't what it looks like, it's more about how it feels. When architects are forced to think outside of that visual box, you can create richer, just more engaging architecture and sense beauty through all sorts of things. I had been diagnosed with a brain tumor and went in for surgery. I woke up and the vision was different. It was almost like being inside a textured geodesic dome. It was so brilliant, you felt like you could stick your hands up inside it. So long as there was a sense of light, the surgeons felt there was a chance that the site could come back. But eventually that sense of light faded and it was just all black. Three days prior to the surgery, I went to the De Young because the architects for that museum were architects that I studied. And it's like, you know, I've not seen the De Young. I wasn't thinking that there was a chance I'd wake up blind the next week. Our brain learns so much from touching. That's how we start discovering the world as kids. I learn buildings differently. The spaces that are more interesting to me is like sitting out on the front porch. The air is liver. You feel the air moving around you. There are times when I want it to be still, but since you can't see the world beyond, you want to sense the world beyond. I have a 45-year deep visual library, and sometimes that's a benefit, and other times I feel like, well, maybe it's a crutch. Maybe it would be more interesting if I could scrub it out. 